the Muse album is being ripped up and people are not happy about this. We also have people saying that Jimin and Sogi are dating and what that is about. And then we have Jimin getting emotional in a new clip. Say so Dumbledore is Dave Desai, let's get into it. So people are very excited as Jimin has released his little documentary. It's not like a full documentary that is like an hour long, it's just 24 minutes, but it details all of the stuff that happened behind the scenes as he was making Muse. This is always awesome for people as I think a lot of people have questions about how artists decide to do things. So for example, how an artist decides to sing, what parts they decide to emphasize in a certain way, and what parts they don't. And typically someone listening to a song will even say, oh my god, that part was my favorite. So kind of seeing the behind the scenes of how that part was said is very interesting. I'm not someone who is a singer, but I have been behind the scenes in the music industry for a while. And people have constantly asked how an artist came up with what to do and all that stuff. How does an artist come up with a melody and everything? A lot of times, and the easiest way to make something catchy is if it sounds similar to how you talk. So if I talk with a more upwards inflection, then the song can have something like that, where maybe the notes go up or something. And this is more so where you get into music theory, where you're going to say what sounds good, why it sounds good, and all that stuff. So if you're in college and if you're interested in that stuff, then take a music theory class, I'm sure you'll love it. Now in the behind the scenes documentary, we get to see Jimin get really emotional, start to talk about getting emotional. And when he is singing the song, he emphasizes at certain points to have more emotion. And he specifically says, should I have more emotion in this part versus this other one? And this is important because you don't want a song to ever sound flat. And I don't mean musically and note wise. I mean, you don't want it to sound the same. So emphasizing certain things, adding texture, making your voice go from happy to more emotional, and all these things are going to make the song feel a lot more dynamic and it's going to make it feel a lot more interesting. One of the different things about pop compared to other genres of music is that pop cares more about trying to make it more interesting because it appeals to a wider demographic, or at least they're trying to. Whereas things like opera, things like jazz, they're not necessarily trying to make it interesting, they're just trying to make it what it's going to be technically good and what's going to portray the story and what's going to portray the artistry better, where that's not always the case with pop. But in this situation that you have with Jimin, we're able to see how much work goes into it and how he's trying to perfect not just the pop aspect of the song, but trying to perfect the artistry as well as trying to show emotion in certain parts. And those are going to be things that people are going to remember and say, oh wow, Jimin is so talented. He's able to portray this emotion with his music. And then for those who maybe don't listen to the lyrics or don't really care for those sort of things and don't listen to inflection or don't care about those things, they will still listen to it for the interesting aspects, right? Which is what makes a song feel pop. There's so many elements that you could like about it. There's also been a lot of controversy about the manufacturing of new products. Apparently there's a lot of fans that were getting their album ripped or a lot of fans were touching the album just a few times and it ripped. There was a semi-viral TikTok video that sparked a lot of debate within the community where this girl was taping up her album because it broke and a lot of people in the comments were basically trying to express that they had the exact same situation. This absolutely sucks and I don't really even have to tell you why it sucks, it just sucks to spend so much money because these albums sometimes are like $50 or $60 and that's just a lot of money to spend for something to break. And in my opinion, this is not necessarily correct. A K-pop album attempts to feel like luxury, this idea of over consumerism and this idea of maximalism, right? It's as much stuff of the artist that you can get in, they stuff it into the box. It's several versions of a song because they want to make you feel like you get a lot. Then on top of that, it's not cheap. Most Western albums, I think are like 15 bucks or so. And then on the higher end, they're like 30. Of course, we should explore some of the different reasons as to why something like this could happen. A lot of K-pop fans, especially BTS fans, don't leave their album alone. So one of the reasons for the album breaking or ripping could just be constantly opening and touching it. It's just made of paper, so the opportunity is going to be much higher. The weather has also been a lot more humid and hot, which can cause things to sweat. It can cause water buildup, mold, things like that, but also cause like books to rip at the seams or cause glue to loosen up, things like that. And also then if paper gets wet, it's going to rip. So those are things to take account for if they do break. However, how do you explain that some people get their album already ripped and broken right out of the box? Of course, this isn't the best thing. And personally, I would say that if I had this happen, 
to just return it and not leave a comment and be angry about it. I assume I could be wrong that the label uses a third party manufacturer. And this is no excuse, by the way, this is just what it is nowadays. Things are made very cheaply, sold from a higher price. I don't like it. I don't agree with it. I think it's so unethical. If you're going to sell a product at a higher premium price, then make it at a higher premium quality. And if you can't make it a higher premium quality for $50, $60, then charge more and then make it higher quality. However, some of these people who are paying $50 or $60 aren't even getting $50 or $60 quality products. They're getting products that normally, if it was like, let's say it used to cost like $20 and then it cost them $10 to make, now it's being priced at $50 or $60, but then it costs them $5 to make. That's how businesses are run nowadays, and it's so messed up. And so this is one of the reasons I believe the quality of things seems to be getting cheaper. And then one of the last reasons that we might be noticing things breaking or things feeling cheaper could just be because there's more cameras around than there was before. People are more likely to document their bad experiences nowadays. And this is all just my opinion, but there's also been a lot of bad things going on online, and a lot of people talking about different things. However, it seems like there isn't enough stuff going on because people are now making up things or talking about things that haven't been confirmed yet. One of those things is Jimin's relationship with a Red Velvet member. This one's really interesting because the evidence is very weak, yet it goes so viral. I feel like we have moved so far past evidence. Like as a community and as a society too, we have seen things like V and Jenny, and we have seen the dating rumor of them allegedly holding hands while in a different city. Like we as a society have lived through that, and we have seen that and how it turns into a rumor and people believe it or don't believe it. However, now we're seeing rumors that are so much weaker than that one. People are still believing it. So as you can probably see from the title, this member is none other than Solgi and Jimin. And Solgi and Jimin are believed to be in a relationship together due to things like them wearing the same colored sweater. The particular evidence doesn't just revolve around the same color, but it's like them posting the same color on the same day. So I guess the rumor, if I wanna try to make it make more sense, goes that they're both together on the same day, then later they split up and decide to take selfies and post it. But obviously they were matching and wearing the same color because they were together. Now obviously in my opinion, not to be mean, but this feels like it's coming from someone who has never been in a relationship. Because how many couples wear the same thing as each other? Most couples don't. It even comes from things like Jimin saying to eat well, and Sogi posting a picture of some food on the same day. To me, obviously, this is very weak because in that post in which Jimin says to eat well, he is saying it because it's the Lunar New Year and that's what Asian people do on New Year's. They eat a lot of food. They have this huge celebration. And so when Sogi posts the picture of her food, she probably is just posting the food that she was eating that night and she was just wishing that everyone else ate well as well. She wasn't posting it because Jimin said eat. She was just posting it because that's what she's doing. Quite frankly, I've seen a lot of people go even crazier than this for Lunar or Chinese New Year and post even more. So if we're judging by Eat Well and Jimin saying that, and that means dating, how many other celebrities have posted food? And now there's this other theory, which I don't entirely know if it's 100% true, is Jimin apparently was at a Red Velvet rehearsal and noticed that Sogi was not dancing properly and thus went on stage to help her. However, the clip that was shown doesn't really show that. And so I'm just a little bit confused as to what this rumor is. Because first of all, Sogi dances really well on her own. She doesn't really necessarily need help, but also I highly doubt if they were dating Jimin, he would go up and hop on stage to help her. He probably would be reluctant to do that in fear of being caught dating. For example, if we take the whole V and Jenny dating rumor, it's not like V jumped up on stage when Jenny was doing something. Like that never happened because he probably wouldn't want people to think that they were together. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for a little bit comment right here. Love you. Bye.